Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got this Five of Pentacles, and it's with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when life might start to feel less than secure. Now, the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it. From forces seen and unseen. <clears throat> yeah, you could feel alone, but you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You might start to feel left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it because the help that you need, it, it will come. Now it's with this Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. So, if you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or, if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse. Because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So basically, Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, <clears throat> excuse me, five of pentacles clarified by the seven of swords. So what I'm getting is that you were in, you were, the, the relationship that you, or the connection that you are in or were in, it was going well, but then all of a sudden you started to feel like your person was not treating you the way that you thought they should. They started to make you feel left out in the cold. You started to feel like the connection was no longer secure or maybe stable. So it made you feel insecure with the connection or about yourself. And you probably um, started to feel some kind of way. So you might have started stalking this your person. And I don't mean in a bad way, but you started to watch them because you were suspicious of their behavior because they went from being what you needed and what you wanted in a person and then all of a sudden things took a turn they started to just make you feel unimportant or they just started to treat you like you didn't want to be treated and you couldn't figure out why the sudden change. So you started to watch this person. Try to figure out what, what they what was going on. What kind of things that they weren't telling you. So yeah, some people would call it stalking, but you you just kept tabs on them trying to figure out why all of a sudden they're treating you so differently. Yeah, this person made you feel left out in the cold. All of a sudden they just changed. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles. And it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles, it's actually a pretty good card in the tarot. It's stability. It's, um, it's a solid committed relationship or a person that's not afraid of commitment 
um, this Knight of Pentacles, um, it indicates that if you're looking for a serious relationship, you could soon find it by someone who's ready to provide you with security and support that you want. Like I said, the Nine of Pentacles is a very slow, s steady, stable, civilized type of energy. Yeah, it's a very good energy. Nine of Pentacles can be about messages coming in from someone who's um, very stable and solid. This is my knight in shining knight in shining armor card. Now it's with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles it can be a card about boredom in some ways. You may be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. But you want to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Because excitement, it can be created. This page of pentacles. It's actually excellent energies to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. Because it gives focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So coming up for you and your person. Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, like I said, you're suspicious of your person's behavior. That's the recent past energy. And you, you started to try to figure out what was going on by doing a lot of watching them. But coming up, um, they could be reaching out to you. Because we got two message cards here. Knight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Um, they, this person can be reaching out. Trying to be more civilized. More like what you would. More how you would like for them to be. They could be reaching out to you. In a better way. Put it that way. Yeah. Or they might be just trying to tell you things that you want to hear. But because it's with this page of pentacles, uh, it could indicate that you might not really want to hear it. You might be bored with what they're saying. You probably just, you might be losing interest. You just, I'm picking up that a lot of you, you just won't, you're not really falling for it. Maybe you've heard it before. Maybe they've reached out to you before trying to be civilized and stable. And then things turned around again for the worse. You started to feel left out by this person. Or just not secure. So like I said, coming up it looks like you're bored with whatever they're trying to say to you. But they'll be reaching out. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the chariot. And it's with the queen of swords. Now this chariot. It can indicate a lot of energy. But it's not a free for all energy. It's directed. It's controlled. And it actually has a goal in mind. So when you get this card. You're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes are. And what your dreams evolve. And what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now this card it points to determination, ambition. And also getting things done. Testing and proving that you got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward. With whatever you have in mind and in your heart. And give it your best shot. Remember though you'll have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. Now, it's with this Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life. Now, this woman, she's one that's not to be trifled with. 
she could have dark hair, dark eyes. And if this is not a person that can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation, just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Yeah, this Queen of Swords. Like I said, it's a very, very forceful type of energy. And a lot of people find this energy really, really abrasive. So Aquarius, your challenge, chariot clarified by this queen of swords. So like I said, you're kind of bored with whatever your person, your person is reaching out to you, trying to say or trying to do. Yeah, I don't know, but it looks like coming up though, they, they don't want to. I'm getting a, a couple of downloads here. You could be asking this person to prove it to you. Yeah, whatever they're trying to make you believe is is going to be solid and stable and committed and make you feel like you're no longer in the cold with this person or left out. Whatever it is, they're reaching out to you, trying to convince you that things can be better. You might be asking them to prove it. Yeah. Put it down on paper or do something now. You want to see results now. Yeah. You don't want... You don't, you're really not interested in hearing just talk. Yeah, you want things to be put into action now. Because the chariot goes really fast. And, yeah, so you're kind of like being forceful with this person. And you're putting your foot down. Because you're tired of just talk. So you want some ash, you want some, you want action with the words. Fast action. Yeah. Because you, you feel, kind of feel like your person is just trying to blow smoke what is that saying? Blow smoke over your... Blow smoke over your something. They're just blowing smoke over you. Yeah, so... Yeah, you want them to prove it. And not tomorrow. Not next week, but prove it. Prove it to you now. The chariot goes real fast. Yeah, you want to see things planned and... And you want action. And you're being very forceful. You're putting, you're finally putting your foot down with this person. Because, like I said, they're trying to come across as being more stable with this Knight of Pentacles. But you, you're just bored with what they're saying. You don't believe it. So, yeah, you're putting your foot down, which is good. And you're, le you're letting them know. That you need proof. You need proof now. Not tomorrow. Not next month. You need proof that things are going to be better. And you need them to show you now. Today. Very forceful. You're going to be very forceful with this person. So let's see what the outcome is. So we got the three of swords and it's with the Page of Swords. Now the Three of Swords, with this card, there could be an element of sorrow that's undeniable. It's undeniable, but what's on the other side of the sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy, so allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up. This way you can move past it. This card, it can also point to maybe a deep personal issue. That needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it does not make it go away. So, allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up. This way you won't wallow in it. 
You do not and should not wallow in sadness or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you are the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Now, this Three of Swords. It's with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it could represent a person who's younger than you. Because when you hear the word Page in the tarot, that can mean a student, youth, immaturity, or just someone younger than you. Yeah, now... This can often indicate that there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. Page of Swords, it t tells us that this person, they could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. Um, yeah. Because I think I said, yeah, the page can be uh, about immaturity. When you hear the word page in the tarot, it can mean student, youth, immaturity. So, you might have to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept criticism. Yeah, the page brings conflict. Well, the page of swords does. Because he's a page, and he's got a huge sword in his hand, this person could bring conflict. They could keep tabs on you. They would, they, the page would stalk you and do a lot of watching you. But in a, in, not in a good way, put it that way. <clears throat> so, basically, your outcome, Aquarius, three of swords, clarified by this page of sorts so what I'm getting is that yeah like I said you you're gonna put your foot down with this person who has been ch making you feel that they've changed or that things are different and they just don't treat you like you think they should or they're not treating you like they used to as good as they used to but it looks like this person is going to try to make you believe that um, they can bring things back to the way it used to be. But you're kind of bored and you're over it. They've said this before. So you're asking, you're putting your foot down. And you're telling them that they need to prove it to you right away. Um, yeah. But the outcome with this Three of Swords here, hmm. yeah, Three of Swords, yeah, you might start to shut this person out, as the Three of Swords can be relationship difficulty, closing yourself off, yeah, you could be hurt. Yeah, you could be hurt by this person because the Five of Pentacles, yeah, it's not a really happy indicator when it comes to relationship and love questions. So I'm getting that for a lot of you, Aquarius, you might feel just hurt by this person's actions. And um, they might try to pick a fight with you. Yeah, and... You're going to find it to be very immature. Yeah. Because you're asking them to prove it to you that things are going to be different. And the way that they handle your demand is by probably picking a fight or bringing some type of conflict to the situation. And it looks like you're going to be hurt, hurt by it. Because all you did was ask them to prove it. Prove it to you that things are going to be different. Yeah. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. 
As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you when you get these readings. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aquarius, thanks for hanging in there with me. Like I said, I'm not... Um, uh, my allergies are really acting up, so sorry about the heavy breathing. I don't know how to cut, cut that out of the, the video, so thanks for hanging in there with me. And I can never say it enough. Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for my um, new subscribers and my old subscribers. It has really been helping my channel to grow. So Aquarius, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day. And take care. Have a good one.